Yo, what's going on YouTube? Your boy SL Official back again with a new video. Today we're looking at the Givenchy George V sneakers. The pair on the left are the fake pair, the pair on the right are the real ones. All my contact links are on the screen now. So I've got my email address. You can send any requests through on there, legit check requests. Instagram is probably where I'm most responsive. Um, that's at Closer Look Official. And then obviously you're on the YouTube channel now. But yeah, let's continue on with the video. Right, so as you can see here, the first tail is just a box. Um, just presentation wise, one's obviously a lot sturdier, looks nicer. That's always gonna be the real one. That always seems to be the case, so do look out for that. You can have a closer look at the actual box cover here. So I'll bring the real one closer so you can have a look at that first. The lettering is slightly raised. It also has a kind of glossy finish to it. And I did an unboxing on the Givenchy slides as well about a couple of months ago. Had the same type of box cover, but it was a different shape. So that seems to be consistent in terms of the box cover. Here's a fake one, does have that glossy look, but that's not raised at all. It's just printed on, overly creased, and I haven't actually seen that logo in any of their recent boxes. I may be wrong, but that's just something I've picked up on. So look out for all that stuff. You've also got the box label that comes on all your shoes. Like you'll get that on any shoe box. This one is straight away, you can see the Chinese writing, and that's usually an indicator that you're dealing with a fake. This is, um, especially the case if you're not actually living in China. If you're living there, I'm not sure how they do it, so I can't really comment on that, but Europe, US, um, any of the other countries that watch these videos, you'll be looking for something like this. All right, so opening up the boxes, again, we've got fairly easy tails, fake pair on the left. It's empty apart from these two poly bags. The real one will come with this little Givenchy booklet, and inside this, you've got another little booklet. We'll get two dust bags, they'll both be black, they'll look like this. It's the same with the slides arm box as well. Um, high quality, nice bag, so just basically look out for any cheap looking poly bag or stuff like that. That covers everything inside the box, so now we can move on to the actual shoes. This is probably going to be your easiest tell. Because of the shoe, it's kind of got like a minimalistic design, it's probably going to be one of the only tells as well. Um, that's the Givenchy on the back, so as you can see the colour, on the fake one is too bright, it's really bright. It's almost got this glossy effect as well. I'm not sure if that shows up well on camera, but um, that's your main, main tail. The embroidery almost looks, it's the effects they've put on it, but it almost looks worse on the real one, if that makes sense. Like the way they've done the embroidery is just completely different. So yeah, this you want you on the back, that's, the big, that's gonna be your biggest tail by far. Um, also, just look at the color of the red, it's too dark on the fake one. And then the other massive tail is, so if you look across here, you can see this like black um, kind of outline that goes all the way around. If you look on the fake one, you can see it's white. It's got like white patches going around the whole thing. Um, there's always this stitching, that's stitching like the upper material of the shoe to the sole. And where those stitches are connecting is where it's going white. Those same stitches do feature on the real one, but it's just been done to a much higher level, so you're not gonna get those white patches, especially not brand new. Another thing you want to look at is the top of the shoe here. Um, it's got that sock design, kind of like the Balenciaga Speed Trainers, but um, it's obviously supposed to grip your foot. And if you look at the top here, you can see it's kind of almost, it's elastic, very elastic. The fake one isn't as elastic, and the opening is a lot wider as well. While we're on the topic of the top of the shoe, if you also look at the inside of where that tab's been sewn in, you can see there's like a square, um, which kind of goes over it, that bit there. I don't know what to call it. If we look at the fake quickly, you can see that's not there. So again, that's another fairly good indicator. Um, another quick thing I can mention, this won't be useful unless you have the shoes in hand, but the real ones are a lot more structured. This toe area in the front of the fake ones, it's basically like a sock. So there's no structure to it at all. So I brought the real ones closer. Now I'm not sure if you can tell, but like just pressing down there, you can see it's a whole lot firmer. There's actually a structure to this one. So again, that's going to be another useful indicator. That covers all the quick tails on the Givenchy George V sneakers. 
and if there is anything else that i haven't mentioned in this video it will be on instagram so make sure you follow on there but yeah i hope the video was helpful I'm gonna go off and record a fit review for the authentic ones now peace